If you're a small business owner and you are working a ridiculous amount of hours every week in your business and you don't have time for new sales, then this video is for you. As a small business owner, I know firsthand how easy it is to get stuck in fulfillment mode, constantly just focusing on orders and problem solving and issues coming into your business and accounting and all of these other things, but then you actually don't make new money and you get stuck and you basically stagnate in your business. So if this is you, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to break down for you three easy things that you can do in your business to automate your sales as much as you possibly can. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean Nicholson, and this channel is providing you with tips and tools to grow your habits, your mindset, and of course, also your business. Please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. And therefore, you know, the algorithm loves me a little bit more, and it helps me to keep pumping out these videos to help you in your business. So what is the top three things that you can do to help you to put your business on automation? Number one, you need a landing page. What is a landing page? A landing page is that page that your prospect land on the first time they come across your business. This is where you have a very strong hook to hook them in. Maybe you have a free lead magnet that you can give them something that they can download, like a mini course or a free sample of a product or anything that you can provide them that entices them to actually wanting to be on your email list. This is a a good way for you to swap an email address for something in your services. So for example, for me, my lead magnet in my business that is very helpful in my business that gives me leads every single day is called the Avatar Knowledge Blueprint. And this is really for other businesses that want to understand and know their customer. And that is my lead magnet in my business. So you can think of different things that you can do. Think of that problem that your potential customer have that you can solve for them. And this is then something that you provide on your landing page. So again, it is that something that they land on, you give them this free thing, and then they hop onto your email list. Number two, email your prospects. This does tie in with number one. And I'm not saying sitting every day and typing out emails. Create an email sequence that you can put on automation that can go out to your prospect every week. How do you do that? Well, first of all, you can get tools like, for example, funnel scripts that can help you to do that. Or you can just pay somebody on Fiverr to do it. Or if you have five hours a month that you can spare to just create a whole 10 email sequences, then you can also do that. So there's ways that you can really find time to create yourself a really nice email sequence. What do you put in the email sequence? Make it fun. Tell stories. Make sure your hooks are very strong. So when that email lands in the email box, they're not going to just discard it or spam it or delete it because, well, your email subject line stands out to them. And if you like, for example, if you live in a small town and your target market is people that live in a small town, tell fun facts about the town, but always remember to link it back to your products that you're offering in the bottom of your email. Like, for example, you can say, P.S., did you know we do this and this and this, or we provide these and these services? This might not be for you, but maybe you know of somebody that does. And if you refer people and you have maybe a referral rate, you can say, and did you know that we provide a $50 referral rate, da, 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 however that looks like for you in your business. So keep your fun, your emails fun, keep them light, keep them entertaining. And most importantly, let people hook in on them and build that relationship. Emails is not just about selling. Yes, of course, you want to make a sale on an email and that's really awesome, but it's not just about selling. It's about building that relationship. So. Yes, great way to keep automated. But automation in is by emailing your prospects every single week. Number three, make sure that you have a proper CRM in place. What is a CRM? A CRM is a customer relationship manager. And without a CRM, you're really going to struggle to keep in touch with the clients. And I'm not just talking an email client list. I'm talking about maybe an existing client that's already in your business. And now you've got a new product or service or this product or service that you have have changed. Now it's time instead of actually individually reaching out to people, if you have a really good marketing ecosystem in place, you just literally send out one bulk email to everybody that has that tag. So it's really, really important to have a relationship with your clients on automation every single month. Now I use a system called Go High Level 
And in goal high level, it is it does all of these things that I've just mentioned. You can create a lead magnet. Number two, you can also then obviously put this client on email sequence. You can send all of that out. And obviously you can then build this client into a CRM system. I have, it is quite shocking to me when I'm helping small business owners, how many is literally just using an Excel spreadsheet to keep in touch with their clients. Some is only keeping them into their accounting software and they don't even have proper contact information on their existing or even on past clients that came in that wasn't ready to buy at that time. So if you really have all of these things in place, even if you don't have something that collects leads, at least have a CRM in place and you can always then send emails to your client and build that relationship. These are my top three tips to help you to automate your business as much as possible. And most importantly, just get your sales and your clients on automation. So it's just one less thing that you need to worry about in your business. My name is Joe Nicholson and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.